Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. You normally know me as The Search with Lisa, but I sometimes throw in some fun uplifting kind of out of the crime section just to have a, you know, just a little uplifting kind of like I say, my yin to my yang. And this day I wanted to show y'all my semi-annual stuff that I got from Bath and Body Works. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that's about the only time that I go and spend money for a lot of different stuff I've never tried before. I'm kind of funny about that. I kind of stick with the same things, but I love Bath and Body Works, so I do the semi-annuals. So I'm going to show you the things that I got. I try to get some things that kind of hold me over to the next one, but if you didn't know about the semi-annuals at Bath and Body Works, I'm telling you. It's a deal. I ordered online, all right? So, if anything, that was kind of a daredevil in itself because I didn't want to just pick the same things I always do. I want to try stuff, and of course, I don't know what they smell like, right? So, what I did was just, you know what? I lived life a little wild, and I just picked things. I tried to read, like, what the scents were, but, you know... To be honest, that doesn't really mean much to me. I just know what I don't like. So I know what I'm not picking if I see like musk or, you know, it's just different words, right? But I am someone that likes a little bit of a fruit. I really love the beachy stuff. So I did try new ones. And I want you to let me know in the comments if you use this. I never have. I might wait to see what your comments say first, okay? Because I haven't used it and I don't... I'm afraid like, you know, when you try new detergents, you might get a rash or you might, I don't know. So we're going to break into it lightly, but I don't know. They've been having it for a while, so I'm sure it's going to do really good. What I got was the White Barn Fabric Care Detergent, and I got the Fresh Blue Sky. This says here, Fabric Care Detergent concentrated formula. The reason I chose this one out of all of them, it just said like a fresh blue sky. That's kind of like a, to me, not full of a bunch of fragrances, kind of just that fresh, kind of like that linen, you know, scent. We're going to see though. We're going to see. So I will let you know once I use it, but this is the first time I've ever used it. It's concentrated for mediums. I think you can get 64 loads for if you're like doubling up, it's 32 loads. So now, and you ask, oh, what did I pay for it? Because this is what the show's about. It is about the deals, okay? Because I'm going to tell you at the end, I technically only paid $3 and something at the end of this, but I'll tell you why. This was originally $19.95. I did get it for $4.98, which is why I took the chance on doing it because I've not smelt it. I've never used this, so I want to know Who's used detergent from Bath and Body Works? I am someone that is hard to make decisions. If I would have been in this store, I would have walked around in circles. Look, hours, okay? Hours. So anyway, and this in here has garden mint, juniper berry, and crisp lavender. So these sound good. I think, again, that... I think it's going to be like the linen type, but if you've tried this, let me know what you think. And if there's any others that you like, let me know on the next semi-annual, I'll go maybe grab some more. You can't beat it. $4.98. It's worth taking a try for that. I'm not one to splurge and take a try when it's 20 bucks though. Just going to tell you. The next item up is, I have not tried this and I have been seeing it. This is the Thailand sweet kiki and star fruit and they smell so good not that you can smell but it has look i'm like smell it guys no it really this one i recommend this is the first time i ever ordered it and i was really happy with it this has a golden kiwi juicy star fruit and solar woods now the solar woods is kind of like Okay, was it a little woodsy? Like I told you, I don't like when I hear like the word musky, just any like pine, anything like that. I felt this still was going to have that fruit to overrule it. 
It is so good. So good. Okay. And this was originally $17.95 and I got it for $4.98. Taking risk, but at a low level. All right. Because I'm not taking risk at $17.95. Okay. <laughs> so being that I felt, I just felt good about this. I'd seen some advertisements on this one. So I decided to get the matching body wash. And so I'm glad I did make this decision. It's it's also with pro vitamin B5 and aloe, which is going to be great for the summertime. Originally, this was $15.95 and I got it for $3.98. Okay. So like I said, I'm taking chances, <laughs> but you know, it's like, you look at this and it's like $15.98 and $17 on the other you know, it's a big difference. And when you can get this, semis are the best, guys. So anyway, this is a good one. Got it together. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy with the smells. Definitely a recommendation for you if you want something. And it's not too overwhelming. And I can't wait to hear what you guys, are, your favorites are. Because I love Bath & Body Works. And I try to get enough to make me last to the next sell. You know, because I don't want to pay that. You know, they do do the ones where you get the three deals and get one free or something like that, but you're still paying. I did try this because there's so much talk around this anyway, and I've been seeing, look, their commercials for this sells me. I am such a package person. The packaging looked nice. If anything, it's going to look good. Like, I can put it in my guest bathroom. It just looks really good. So, anyway, this is the Briggerton Diamond of the Seasons. This also has the Pro Vitamin B5 and Aloe. So, and I just really like it. As far as the way it looked, I've been hearing really great things about it as well. This one is like a sparkling peach, spring daffodil, which I love daffodils and the jasmine, a radiant jasmine. So I knew right then it was going to give that nice fruit with a little bit of flower mixed in it. And that, that's me. I may not even open it right away. I may just keep it in the guest bathroom. This one is originally $15.95. And right now it was a little higher than the other ones. It was $7.97. But, hey, it is one of the newer ones out, and also, it just looked good. I just, so I'm taking a chance, still $7.97, you know, a little up, but that's okay, though. That's okay. Now, guys, where I'll tell you that for the summer, I do splurge on one thing, and only during the summer, though. I don't do it any other time. And if it runs out, it runs out, and I pick back up at the summer. And this is one of my favorites. And that is the Japanese Cherry Blossom. Now, I did not get the spritz of it, okay, or the body spritz or the wash. What I get the one time is the shiver. Okay, I might be almost 47, but listen, when my skin is tan and I'm out in the summer, I like the shimmer, shimmy shimmer, okay. Of course. They are not on special. That one is $16.95. No discount, no, because they know we all want to shimmer shimmy in the summer, okay? So, no deals on that, but it's worth it. So, that is where I splurged. They did not have a lot of variety. Of, like, there was nothing really on sale. There was, like, one thing, I think, on sale for the shimmers. I love a shimmer. Oh, my goodness. And I am a big fan of the Japanese chair. I think a lot of people are. I come across a lot of people that even have like the travel size with them, whether it's hand sanitizer, whatever it is. The smell is good. The shimmer's good. The regular body's good. The body washes everything. Definitely, I'm a Japanese cherry blossom kind of girl, okay? And I noticed that my fragrance just kind of change as my age goes up. And I think, you know, the more mature, I mean, I'm not... You know, I'm not buying things that make me smell like, you know, candy, you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, I used to buy like, what was it, like Tutti Frutti in the day. But uh, I still want to smell young and vibrant, right? All right, next on the block is The Butterfly by Bath and Body Works. And... This one is a fragrant note that says it's got raspberry, 
nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. Now, am I a huge vanilla person? No, no, I'm not. With the others in there, it's maybe going to be a little hint. Because I think maybe I was hoping... One, you know, I'm all down for the butterflies, but listen, we're not going to smell like a butterfly, okay? If you see up here on my Conquer Life book through my years, that gave to me from some of my supporters. I am a butterfly person. As y'all get to know me, you'll learn that. I did look at it, did not let it overrun, and I'll tell you, just to kind of, you definitely don't get that vanilla hit first. You know what you're really getting? You're getting the petals. You're getting the petals with like, here comes the nectar and vanilla scooping in to take the day. I would say it's definitely more of a petals than anything. So, you know, I just can't do straight the vanillas. They're not bad, but I just don't want to walk around just smelling like vanillas. I love the bottle look. It's nice and purple. The butterflies on it. And one of the last things I got is i've never tried this either this is something new and i'm like i'm trying it and we have a nice size tub so this one especially i deal with chronic pain definitely taking a bath is something to help with chronic pain and i said you know what i am going to get this this is sensitive skin with colloidal oatmeal I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Am I, guys? Let me know in the comments. You'll learn about me that I have Lisa-isms. I've had people send me shirts because of that say Lisa-ism and, like, names everything I mispronounce. But that's okay. Down here in the South, sometimes we say things that don't sound right to y'all, but they sound fine in my head, okay? <laughs> anyway, it is for sensitive skin. It smells good. It fragrance is sheer, airy, and delicate. It is for sensitive skin. It is made without sulfates, parabens, or artificial dyes, which that's important. And not tested on animals and vegan. Bottle made with 50% recyclable plastic. Okay, I see you. They're like, we're going for the 50%. I got a good deal. Originally, $20.95. And I got it for $5.23. Which is why I said, I'm going to try this out. Okay? Which, that's good. Because originally, $20 for a bubble bath. You'll learn more about me as we go along, guys. I'm so excited for the new people that have recently subscribed. You'll learn some of the things. I do a lot of self-care, and I just talk about different things to help with your mental health, chronic pain, and different things like that along the way. And definitely a nice bubble bath is something to do the trick to just escape for a little bit. So, and it's a $20 bubble bath for only $5. I'm a winner. I'm a winner, y'all. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. The last thing I got from the semi-sale was this Waikiki Beach Coconut. All right? And this here is, it's the Wallflowers Home Fragrance Refills is what it is. And do y'all know what I got it for? And it's the refills, guys. You know how you put it down in whatever little funny thing you've got. You know, when I say funny, they have all kinds of neat stuff that you can do. I, now I even seen they had Briggerton. They've got this really neat, like, carriage. All kinds of these, like, night lights you can use. So, I didn't get any of those. But anyway. Drum roll. A dollar ninety-eight, y'all. A dollar ninety-eight. So, you know what? I wasn't even thinking, what do I have to put this in? I'll find something. I know I've got some things around here to put this in. But it was $1.98. And I'll be honest with you, I was just a little bit shy of $50. And it fit right on so I could get my free shipping. Huh? Who does the free? Listen, if I'm going to pay that extra little bit for free, I, I go like y'all. I look at the shipping and I say, well, if I'm going to pay it either way, I'm going to buy something. So I get something for that money. And we'll just get to the free shipping. So again, guys, everything here, brand new scents. I've never tried them and I'm absolutely happy. I can't wait to report back what I think of the laundry detergent. And yeah, so I think we got a total, guys. In the Japanese. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, 
Would you like to know how much I totally spent out of all of that? Well, technically, guys, I only spent $3.43 for everything, okay? Because I had a wonderful friend, longtime supporter of mine through the years. At Christmas, she did send me a $50 gift card to Bath and Body Works. And like I told y'all, I missed the other semi-annual, like with the gift card. So I held on to it and I said, I'll just wait till summer. So I was, pa patience is a virtue, guys. I waited till the sale came and pulled it out. So everything here, I want to say it added up to about 150-ish. I'm not exactly sure, but at the end, I got everything about 75% off because that's what I was looking at. And it came to a total of $53. You cannot beat that. You can't, especially since I paid three. <laughs> but, and free shipping, free shipping. But anyway, guys, I definitely had fun with it, and I was really proud of myself. This has definitely been the year of change and doing things different for me. Even, you know, starting YouTube over here, I've always been a live streamer, so I love to talk, but I'm trying to learn to really cut my videos so straight to the point because I just, I love people, and I love the energy of people. That's why I did live streaming for so long, and I will be doing them on here, guys. So make sure that you're keeping the notifications on, and... And so that way, when I do have these fun pop-up videos that you know of them, we may be changing some times on some things. But I thought, what a fun little video to do. And just kind of thank y'all for the last video to everybody that subscribed. It meant so much to me that you took the time. That was something I just really needed to jump into. And I hope that everybody watched it to the end and really appreciated that you can only be one way and cannot go back and forth. And that's just it. And anyway, that was that video. This is this. And anyway, back to crime this week. I can't wait to see what your favorite fragrance are and what you recommend. I always do like to try new stuff and they do have sales. I will let you know about the laundry, like I said before, and I'll let you know if the bubble bath is really worth the hype on it too. The $20 stuff, I'll let you know. But for sure, these are wins. I would definitely, everything I showed you, they're a win. I hope y'all had a fabulous weekend. I look forward to this week, see what all we get into. And I will see you this week on The Search. Good night, everybody.